In this video, I reference a favorite food, spaghetti. I put the pressure on and tap something. It's Dad Vinci time. Even before the 666 arrived, I was getting lots of questions from viewers about which solar generator to go for. So in this video, I cover the most commonly asked questions to help with what's important to you. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos that may address something you've not come across yet. Anyway, enough chat, let's go. Time for a side-by-side -side size comparison now. So if I tip them both back, you'll see there's not actually that much difference in height. Not as much as I was expecting when the 666 recently arrived. So let's have a look around the ends. So this is where it's a little bit more pronounced. As you can see, the 666 has got more in it, so it's actually a lot wider than the, the 372. So let's go for a top-down view now. And again, it's more pronounced now because the box itself on the 666 side is actually much bigger than the 372. So this really highlights the difference in sizes. So in order to weigh the 666, I've had to go for my bathroom scales because my kitchen scales have a five kilo limit. So let me see if I can weight these up. That's it. And then let's put that on there and see what we get. And that's coming in at 5.3 kilos or 11.6 pounds. So the kitchen scales are zeroed out, ready to go. So let's put on the 372. And there we have it, 3,801 grams, so 3.8 kilograms or 8.6 pounds. So in terms of features, the only difference between the two units is the fact that the 666 doesn't come with wireless charging. Now the only reason I can think of that is because it has a more powerful AC inverter, it needs more room in the box for cooling. But apart from that, everything else, including the app, is the same. So when it comes to powering devices using the AC outputs on both units, the 372 provides 300 watts continuous with a brief surge to 500 watts, and the 666 offers 500 watts continuous with a brief surge to 1000 watts. So when it comes to the DC outputs on the side here, both units provide the same when it comes to the DC5525 ports here, as in 12 volts at 5 amps per port. When it comes to the USB here, we have three standard USB ports here on the 372, and they're 3 amps apiece, or 8 amps across all three if they're used at the same time. And on the 666, we have one standard 3 amp port and two quick charge ports up to 18 watts. They both have the USB-C PD ports here, that can support up to 60 watts, but I believe, and I haven't tested it yet, the 666 can provide up to 100 watts, but that's still pending testing. So on this side, as you can see, everything matches up nicely. The only difference is to speak about in terms of the DC and the Anderson inputs is that the 666 supports five amps for charging and the 372 supports 3.2 amps for charging, meaning you can push more watts through from solar or a DC source on the 666. And in terms of the cigarette lighter output, they both support 12 volts and 10 amps. But what I will say is the 666 has remained above 12 volts, even when it's been down as low as 1% battery charge remaining. And the 372 at near empty has been closer to 10 volts. So there is a difference when it comes to that port. So now it's time to move on to a popular topic on this channel, and that's what cables you need to charge these solar generators. Well, in this case, you pretty much need the same set, but there are some subtle differences because the 372 can handle 3.2 amps for its charging, and the 666 can take five amps for charging. So let's start off with what you get in the box and the standard power bricks. So for the 372, you get a little three amp power brick here, mains power brick here. So as you'd expect, that just plugs straight into the DC input there. And for the 666, you get a slightly bigger, or quite a bit bigger actually, five amp power brick. So again, that one just plugs straight into the DC port right there. So the next option while we're at this end is using one of these cables. So this is a cigarette lighter adapter here, 
to a DC5521. And effectively, all you do is plug that into your car cigarette lighter output, and it plugs into the DC input on the 372 or the 666. So that's one option from 12 volt charging. So while we're at this end, we just cover off the Anderson ports here and charging from solar. So the type of cable you need depends on the type of panel you have. So if, like me, you have one of the folding all-power solar chargers, I've got the 60 watt version, you'll need one of these cables, which is a DC5525 to Anderson connector. And as you would expect, that goes into your solar charger and that plugs straight into the unit. So 372 or the 666. One thing to note with this, though, is because the 666 can handle more input amps, it's worth considering the slightly larger folding solar panel of the 100 watt version because you'll get a better charging rate on the 666. So if you have a rigid, flexi or folding solar panel that has MC4 connectors, you'll need one of these cables, which is MC4 to come from the solar panel and Anderson connector to plug straight into the unit. And that's all you need. So moving on to one of the most popular features according to viewer feedback, and that's charging via the USB-C PD ports right here. So first off, all you need is a cable. So here's a USB-C to USB-C cable. And if you're charging from the mains, you'll just need a USB-C PD power brick. And this is a U-Green 65 watt version. And if you wish to charge on the move or from a 12 volt cigarette lighter output, you'll need one of these, which is a Lincoln PD charger. And this is good for 60 watt PD. So this may just look like spaghetti, but this represents the flexibility when it comes to charging these units. So time to address portability of the units now. So I've got my beaten up old Samsonite backpack here, pretty much gone everywhere with me on that. And I've also got my All Powers uh, 60 watt solar charger here just to use and show how that all fits in the bag at the same time. So let's get this loaded up and see what it looks like. So I've loaded up the bigger unit to start with. So I've put in the 666 and as you can see, it takes up the majority of the bottom of this standard size backpack, which is fine. There's still some room there in the front to get other bits and pieces in, but there's not really a lot of room down the sides. So if I just put in the uh, 60 watt solar charger. So if you do go for the 100 watt version of this unit, then obviously that'd be a bit more bulkier. But let's just see if we can get that in there and actually do the backpack up. And look, there we have it. It's in there and it fits perfectly. So the 372 is now in the backpack and as you would expect, it's a foregone conclusion. It's such a compact unit that actually it doesn't take up much room at all in the backpack. You can pretty much fit anything down the side and the back. So much so that I think we can actually fit in the solar charger down the back of the unit. And look, we've still got room on top to put lots more stuff. So yeah. Pretty compact unit, so we can do that up now, and we've still got loads and loads of space left. So I just wanted to cover the difference in build between these two units, and also mention that my 372 has been revised since, and now comes out with flush fitting AC outputs just like the 666. No more rubber covers. But the main difference I've found is in the body. So on the 372 it's made out of metal, and on the 666 it's made out of plastic. So I can only assume that is to keep the weight down because it has a bigger battery pack inside. But I've also noticed when looking around and trying to look through the vents is there's a lot more space inside to allow the air to circulate for the batteries and also the inverter. So that might be the reason as well they've done it like that. But in terms of everything else, everything else is the same. And this uh, 372 has been a robust little unit and I must say I've dropped it a few times. So I have to see how well I get on with the 666. We hope you liked our video. All the links you'll need will be in the description below. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And stay tuned to DadVinci.